drive. Smart car. Okay. <laughs> so very different to this. And uh, yeah, and I've, I've actually got a 280 SL Pagoda as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, slick. Which way around left here? Yeah. yeah. Switch those off now. So we've got this road here. So maximum speed from about now all the way up this axis road is 30 mile an hour. Been off on various sort of rallies with them all really over cool. Spain, and, and that's great fun. That is. Do you struggle with the salt water at all getting to the car? Or no, it, it's all right, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to change the mode of the car. We were in comfort mode. I'm just going yeah. to stick it around into Sport Plus now and give you the solid suspension setting on it, like that. Okay, yeah. So you do exactly the same thing, but just see the difference between the two. The car should accelerate right, quite a lot more. Off you go. A bit more wheel spin. Basically, what that does is it changes the throttle map. Yeah. Okay, so it delivers the power much more aggressively. You might not feel it because we got quite a bit of wheel spin instantly there. Yeah. Just before we didn't, so before we probably got a faster launch. But as soon as this car gets into third gear with it in Sport Plus, it just takes off like a rocket. There's a lot more torque there. How many tyres do you get through here? Not many, actually, surprisingly. Um, our tyre bill's about seven grand a month. Yeah. But that's between the maximum speed, I'd suggest about 10 miles an hour, something like that. Just keep the speed really, really low. If it's too fast, and I can show you what happens. Um, so we always have to stay at the opposite side to this SL. Yeah, makes sense. Um, just so we don't get, get into trouble. So if you nail the throttle now, just be quite aggressive on the power, just give it a move. You can feel the ESP system coming in immediately. Yeah. And as the car starts to slide, you'll feel this front left brake come on. So give it a hard bit of power again. Can you feel that brake come on? Yeah. Okay, when the car starts to lose grip, it's really, really important to come off the accelerator pedal and just allow the car to slide. That's it. So go for the power about now. There you go. Off the gas as it slides. Didn't do anything. No, possibly not. Won't do it every time because the ESP system is so intrusive. So yeah. if we stop, and I'll just switch it to the sport mode, ESP system, so just in your dash, it's just changed to ESP sport handling mode. I'm looking, which, can't which see. Means to just see oh, in the middle, yeah. yeah. And if you look down there, it's, it's a sport. sport. Yeah. Basically, what that allows it to do, it turns it halfway off, so it's not quite as intrusive. So, it allows it. okay, so just hit the brakes hard now, hit the brake really hard, there you go. and then we'll stop. Now, the reason that happened is because we built too much speed up overall on the car, yeah. So, you want to keep the car at that really low speed, no faster than that. The speed, yeah. Now just be quite aggressive on the accelerator. I'll pop your wipers on now for you. So now just hit the accelerator there. Okay, off, 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 off. Round she goes. <laughs> so what you must do, as soon as you feel that grip come out of the car and the rear wheel spin off the gas immediately, yeah. and that will help you to regain grip. The only reason they've lost grip is because they've sped up too fast. So you've got to come off the gas to allow them to slow down again. So just tap the gas about 50%. Off straight away, turn hard left. That's all right. Again, perhaps just because the car was a little bit too quick, but that's a great 360. I like that a lot. <laughs> it's not as easy as you do that because when you do a 360, you've got to have really good spatial awareness. You yeah. To understand about what direction the car's going and what you're going towards. So at that speed, just 50% on and off on the gas. So now off, turn left, go left, go left. Combined with the release of throttle and a hard left on the steering, you'll catch those slides with no problem. So just a little bit of power now. So left, hard left. So you've just got to turn to the left quicker. Now that you've got the accelerator, that's it, just straighten up. There we go. What we'll do, we'll have time for one more run round here and then a lap around the track. And a little bit of power now. Go left, off, off, off. That's it, there you go, stay still straight there you go you got it that's it and again so go left and that'll correct it come straight just straight forward for us there you go fantastic all right we'll jump out onto the circuit for a couple of laps let me just check that we're all good back down on that so that'll be a little bit of an introduction into the sls that's surrounded by people at the moment if we go forward Take a right. Pop those on for a moment. And then 
How are you at parking? Oh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Can you get it in between those two? Yeah. Backwards? Yeah, if you could. Yeah. Backwards? Yeah, if you could. Yeah, that'd be great. Right. cylinders um, so obviously there's no more power delivery in the cylinder and it throws it out in the exhaust because the exhaust is so hot it ignites the fuel I'll okay, just radio Lucas Tango 27 to Lucas we're coming back to the cafe doors Let me take it right here. well there you go I hope you enjoyed yourself yes I want one so mind the curbs there on that side that side We'll find a little spot, just mind the curb here. Little, that's good. We could probably Yeah, just park alongside the curb there, just leave a bit of a gap. There you go, is that all done for you? 